APA is definitely the best place to catch up with all the latest basic research and clinical expertise in the psychiatric field. We went along to the opening media briefing to hear what to expect at this year's meeting. This is one of the largest events of new research of mental health and substance abuse issues literally in the world. Over the next five days, you'll have the opportunity to connect with some of the top researchers and clinicians in this field and learn what is new and exciting in the world of psychiatry. The theme that I selected for this meeting is psychiatry integrating body and mind, heart and soul. Now part of the body and mind piece comes from the fact that I trained as an internal, internal medicine physician before I trained as a psychiatric physician. So as, as one who cares for patients and cared for patients over many years in general hospitals and large academic medical centers, the boundary between what we think of as a quote mental disorder and a general medical disorder to me is actually pretty fluid because by what we mean by mental disorder, we mean a, a disorder that affects cognition, emotion, uh, thinking, uh, and the causes of that are as manifold as they are for problems with the heart, the lungs, the liver, or any other part of the body. We will cover the breadth of the field. I don't think there's a topic in psychiatry that is not covered in this meeting, not, not a single one. And any of the sessions often cover what we know to be true. Psychiatric illness is not in the ether, it's in the brain. We just don't really understand. But we often in the sessions go from a molecule through the behavior, through the consequence of the behavior. Because as you know, there's stigma about psychiatric illness because it's not considered medical, but of course it is. One out of five individuals with a psychiatric disorder often has, has an alcohol use disorder. And more importantly, uh, we see a huge amount of comorbidity with alcohol use disorders. So it, it ranges from 30, 40, 50 percent. Ultimately, with post-traumatic stress disorder, about 50 percent of those individuals end up with an alcohol use disorder. So it, the, the interaction with alcohol is not trivial. It costs our society in America $224 billion a year. You go to any emergency room in the San Diego County, where I came from, on a Friday or Saturday night, and half the people there are, are in the emergency room for an alcohol or drug-related problem. Psychiatrists must claim our role as leaders of medical care within the general health care system. The fact is, there is no health care without mental health care. Almost every one of us will encounter mental health issues at some points of our lives. And mental health must be embedded in our health care system so that patients have access to the care they need. And there's lots of evidence and lots of studies that show that if you provide treatment, especially for disorders such as anxiety and depression, we can improve outcomes of health care and we can also decrease the cost of health care.